Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, graduates. Yuli Habenhead Hehalt. Well done. I can almost hear your thoughts right now. Yes, one more speech, but I promise it will be brief. I know what's coming, the reception. Yes. <laughs> because not too long ago, I was sitting almost where you are. It was a bit less of an impressive location at the time, as it was mentioned, the Q uh, Ho, but it was at my graduation ceremony. I was excited, I was a little nervous, and of course I was waiting for the party to begin. Then suddenly out of nowhere, I heard my name being called to the stage. I was asked to come up and take an award for best in class. And I was just staring there in disbelief. I could not believe this. And no one had warned me this was going to happen. The strangest thing was that it was not that the word itself, but the fact that I was so convinced that I did not deserve it. How could I be the best in my class? I was graduating six months after class, my classmates. I was writing my thesis in after work hours, hurriedly, and I was filled with self-doubt uh, all the time. I stood there on stage, smiling, but inside, deep inside, I was convinced that there must be a mistake if I'm here. Now, mistakes actually became my most precious friends over time. Because mistakes are not signs of failure. They're part of the journey, sometimes the best and the most important part. They teach you, they challenge you, they shape you into the person you're meant to be. Success might feel good in the moment, but failure is what teaches you who you really are. Because every time you fall and get back up, you learn something powerful that you can. Victories are temporary, but the strength and confidence you build along the way are permanent. Every setback, every disappointment is a chance to grow stronger, to dig deeper, and to prove to yourself that you are resilient. And in a world that's changing faster and faster, that resilience will be your superpower. The world you're stepping into is far from perfect. There's a lot that needs fixing. And now the ball is officially in your court. To be honest, it's been there for a while now. Your generation has already shown incredible leadership. Take climate change. It was you who finally made the world sit up and take notice. You brought the fight for future to the forefront of global decisions. Sure, there is still a long way to go. And climate change is just one of the enormous challenges we are facing. It is easy to feel overwhelmed. Like changing the world is an impossible task or that it is someone else's job. But your generation has shown that you don't need to lead a revolution to make a difference. It's the small, everyday choices that add up to something bigger. Every time you act with purpose, when you choose to do what's right, even if it seems irrelevant at the moment, even if no one is watching, you are improving a tiny bit of our world. Maybe it is speaking up for someone when they're overlooked. Maybe it's choosing to support businesses that align with your values. And because this is a master in management, Maybe it's how you lead a team, making sure that every voice, especially the quiet ones, are heard. No matter how small the action seems, it matters. And here comes the best part. You are in the perfect position to scale those actions. Your generation has mastered the art of connection. You just showed us up there when you're taking those selfies. Where are those selfies going? Well, on social media. You know how to share your stories, how to inspire others, and how to amplify your impact. This ability to lead by example makes you the most powerful generation ever. And as VUB graduates, you already understand the importance of giving back, of contributing to a better world for everyone. Don't wait for someone else to tell you to make a difference. You don't need permission. You already have the power, the tools, and the heart. When you lead with integrity, you take ownership of your impact, you inspire others to do the same. Take those tiny steps 
Make those choices and trust they matter because they do. Years ago, I didn't believe in myself when I stood on that stage, but after many mistakes, I've learned better. I am back on that stage now. And I want you to believe in yourselves from the start, from today. You don't need to be perfect. What you need is the courage to get back up, to keep learning, and to see each stumble as a stepping stone for something greater. You've heard this before, the world needs you, and it's true. We are counting on you, we believe in you, and we know you're gonna crush it. You couldn't hit. thank you very much.